We were doing ministry 15 years ago where you have to do crusade and gather people before you address the body of Christ. How many people have the stature to address the body of Christ? Before you know, somebody sat, will sit on the laptop and write it three times. Meanwhile, his whole church is in his parlor. He can't feel it. One was trying to make a mockery of our ministry. Uh, uh, we are talking. Even our, our ministry is in the parlor and we can't feel it. Are you seeing where the emphasis is now? In our days, the pulpit and the lectern used to disseminate on alloy's truth has been replaced by being the rostrum for trading words. It's a sicker, sensitive period in the body of Christ and we only preach what the congregants want to hear. We have replaced biblical truth for shenanigans under the guise of apostolic mandate. There's been a trading back and forth of preaching and also Michael Oropa said a lot of things previously. And now, Prophet Joel Ogebo has his right. Listen, there is a halotry spirit, sir, that has entered into the church. Preaching everywhere is not a sign that you are growing. I tell you the truth. Sometimes, your, your traveling up and down is a sign of halotry. Do you know what a virgin is? The consecration of a virgin. A minister who, before the Lord, is a virgin, is pure. His testimony unadulterated, where he brings his witness, is only chosen by the monarch of Zion. The invitations you are accepting everywhere. Who are you really going there for? Be honest. If it's the testimony of Jesus, how come this testimony is only where they have big LED screen that is preached? We know it's self-preservation. There is a striving to sustain relevance. A lot of people are preachers of relevance, not preachers of the Lord. So, they mock gatherings like this because they think if 100,000 people gather, that means 100,000 people no go. Sometimes, God can give a whole nation for one man. So, guess what? This harlots, the standard they've raised is a standard that embraces everything. I told you about the love that Satan wants to push into the body of Christ. The love that holds hand with iniquity. Is it not the Lord who said, Come out of among them, be separate, touch not the unclean thing? Is it not the same Lord who gave that commandment? The same Lord sent the disciples and said, Do not go into the way of the Gentiles. Some level it's not what you can have for the name of the Lord that we look for it's what you can let go for the name of the Lord one was trying to make a mockery of our ministry uh, uh, we are talking even our, our ministry is in the parlor and we can't feel it are you seeing where the emphasis is now let's let's cry you see sometimes when you talk a lot of times your God will also speak Listen, I don't respect many things people are building. Because the Holy One has told me. He said, do you want church members or do you want disciples? I said, I want disciples. You, the rod of your ministry is that you wear fine suit. You are like a dog that perish. <laughs> Go and look at the fountain that burst from a man. You will know if he's a harlot or if he's a virgin. If you don't stand for anything, you will fall for everything. How come your gospel does not divide? Jesus' gospel divided the crowd. Your own doesn't. Are you more wise than Jesus? His gospel till the end of days will separate wolf from sheep. What gospel are you preaching that says there is a concordance between light and darkness? An acceptance, liberalist kind of gospel. That only say what the people are saying. If the people say, yeah, yeah, they come and say, yeah, yeah. I'm a militant. <laughs> if you're a shepherd, trust me, you know the wolf. So...